Do you have an eye for microscopic detail and a fascination with how the human body works? Then you'll love learning about our next career. Let's see what it's like to be a medical laboratory technologist. Kyla, thank you so much for having me. Thanks for coming. Let's head to the lab. Let's go. I'm Kyla Sorensen. I'm a medical laboratory technologist at UHNBC in Prince George. Patients need blood products in that for a variety of reasons. There could be a, for traumas. There's people that need chronic support for transfusions like cancer patients. Laboratory testing guides most of the decisions that clinicians make in treating patients. They estimate 75 to 80 percent of the decisions doctors make for patients are from their blood results, from their lab results, so it's very important for patient care. Kyla, this looks like a pretty big piece of equipment. Can it you is. tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, this is our uh, chemistry analyzers connected to a robotic line. Okay, and what does it do exactly? It does uh, some sample preparation. You put some tubes in a rack and put it on. It reads the barcodes. It knows who the tests are for, what tests are ordered. So it'll spin the samples and send it to the analyzers it needs to go to to do the tests that are ordered. Okay. So it can do multiple samples at the same time? Oh, many. Oh. We test like between like one and 2,000 chemistry oh. samples a day. Okay, wow, that is, that's super cool. Yeah, and then this is a stat for it, so if something's more important than the routines, like for a patient, say, an emergency or ICU, you can skip the queue and put it in oh, the stat so port. Cool. Yeah. You can get into med lab right out of high school. There's only some high school prerequisites for different science classes, or a lot of people who enter the program have a degree already. When I was younger, I didn't know that lab techs existed, or if I heard of them before, I didn't understand what it was. When I was a lab assistant, I would take blood from patients. I would wonder what the results were and what they meant. I'd be like, oh, how does this correlate to a certain condition? I always wanted to know more. So in there you'll see a, a lot of red blood cells and different white blood cells. There's two different kinds in that frame. You see there's one with some kind of speckles and, and multi-lobe nuclei. Okay. That's a neutrophil that fights bacterial infections. The bigger one? Yes. Okay. With all the different stuff in it. And yeah. then there's one that's more like a solid circular nucleus that's a lymphocyte and that's involved in uh, fighting viral infections and making antibodies. And all the little ones are just normal. Those little tiny flecks are platelets involved in blood clotting. Cool. That's awesome. If someone is hemorrhaging and we prepare blood products and what we did literally you can say that it saved their life because it because it does. Pilot, thank you so much for showing me around today. Thanks for coming. Once again, I'm Miriam for Career Check, reminding you that this career could be yours.